Yes, so when the Shea is marking her second anniversary in the Ghanaian music industry and as part of her celebration, she is reminiscing on the memories she's actually lived within this two year period and also possible strategies she can adapt moving on. There's a many more stories coming away right here on the Daily Gossip Show with me, Rati Jit. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon. Stay tuned. Yeah, so let me start from the camp of Yaya Jackson. Yaya Jackson is saying that her new song, BBF Ebefa, is not a gospel song. Yeah, so do you remember Yaya Jackson posting a picture of her in an all-white attire and also with a caption saying that she has accepted Christ as a personal sin. And also, after that particular post, she actually made another post suggesting that or indicating that she's going to drop a new song, which people suggested that is a gospel song. Because look at the title, it was BBF Ebefa. Yeah, so she has finally dropped that song and uh, she's actually on a media tour I'm um, trying to, I mean, educate people, even explain why she actually dropped that song. And on one of her media tour, where she actually disclosed that the song, okay, is not a gospel song, as some people are actually alleging or insinuating. And she's saying that the song is for the street and also for Christians. That by people should not zone the song because she actually made that post and also look at the content of the song. But then people should actually find a way to distinguish herself, that's Yaya Jackson, from her brand. So she's saying that. She but he she dropping this song that not should should not limit or people should not limit her saying that okay moving on since I made that post and also I said I've accepted Christ as my personal sin that that, mean, that that means that I should actually stick to the gospel and I know I'm going to be going back and forth with uh, my music because music is not you can't limit her when it comes to music you can't express herself as to when she feels and all that all that but then she has accepted Christ way 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 before she even actually made that post and the people should not read meanings into that particular post that she made. So she's saying that people should distinguish her brand, that's the Yaya Jackson brand, as her, as her being an artist and also an actress or let me say musician and also her personality. She has a personal life and we should be able to distinguish between her personal life and um, um, her, her, her artist or artistic life. So does that mean that whatever she posted way back was a stunt or it was just trying to pull traffic? Um, to for that people who actually listen to a song, and so she's, as I said earlier, she's saying that she's going to be dropping songs back and forth, and that people should not limit her saying that okay, because she made that point, because she has accepted Christ as a, as a personal savior, then it means that she's going to be doing music, um, henceforth. No, guys, what do you think about her submission? What do you think about her move in as to uh, her move in promotion of the new song? Can you drop your comments in the comment section below? Yeah, so moving on, artists have um, lots of ways or lots of um, inspiration when it comes to music. Some people draw their inspiration from society, some also draw inspiration from relations, others also draw inspiration from their friends. But when it comes to Kiddy, it is quite different. He's saying that he draws inspiration sometimes from weird situations like in the bathhouse, um, um, having sex, and what have you. And he made this particular statement in an interview with Miriam on the 3FM Urban Blend show. Yeah, so Kiddy was. Well, he's actually on a media tour to promote his Blue EP album or EP. If people don't know, he has dropped a new album that's a Blue EP and has a song or a hit song which is actually making waves now that say cheese. If Kai Kiddy was on a show or was um, on, one of, on his media tour, he was actually on a show with another room where I mean he didn't report early and a whole lot of hula balloons and what have you. But that has not that, that has not actually deterred him from actually embarking on his media tour. And this time around, he made a stop by um, 3FM where he actually made this revelation so he was saying that uh, when it comes to music for him it's quite different for him he can make music or uh, he draws inspiration from various angles and as we all know kitty has when it comes to the love actor relationship actor kitty is very very good likes of his odor enjoyment and dear penna and what have you and the latest as i said earlier on say cheese is actually making it like ladies are jamming to it and what have you so he's saying that whenever he's having coitus when he's having sex he actually keeps a recorder um, by him or by his side so that whatever happens he can actually listen to it afterwards and also draw some kind of inspiration from it guys what do you think about kiddies real inspiration <laughs> can you drop your comments in the comments but before that let's watch this interview so that you hear what kiddy has to say when it comes to drawing inspiration for his music what do you have in mind for instance say cheese do you visualize say some yeah. fine girl be no, I mean, something you know that because we, we all have that thing that brings yeah, the best out yeah, of us so yeah. when you really want to get into your elements what do you visualize um, usually in the studio, I d d uh, put the, the inspiration aside. I put myself on the stage in front of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Instead, when I record the song, I'll get up, 
and then go back and then imagine like everybody's a crowd of performing it's yeah. how will i want them to hear it yeah. how will i want them to respond to it yeah. and it makes it easy because once i put myself in your shoe mm-hmm. i can envision what you would love to hear yeah you get me and then wow. yeah wow and that means i mean if, if you're practically sleeping in the studio and inspiration comes at any time and then you said whether with the whole, mm. the whole bowl. Inspiration hits in the weirdest places at the weirdest times. What's the weirdest place <laughs> and moments that you have been inspired? <laughs> hey, Kitty, please, I'm edited. <laughs> this one, yeah. What's the weirdest place that I mean, you did it? Or the situation bring itself like that? Then, for you know, out of nowhere, it starts to flow. What's the weirdest place? Hmm. <laughs> this one, yeah, it's tough. Come on, Kitty Chale. We are not saying you yeah, guys. It's tough. It happens everywhere. Yeah, so, everywhere. So, so, what's the weirdest place? Ah, everywhere. Even, even here. I mean, of all the places that could be thinking everywhere. about the song, I may be doing the number two. Which one is number two? <laughs> <laughs> I may be bathing. I may be in the middle of something. Middle of what? <laughs> Can you tell me? Oh, Please. do something. Fun activity. Hey, Tobo. Which one is on number two? Extra curricular activity. <laughs> have, have, <laughs> have, have you been inspired to write a song in the middle of making love? Yeah, guys, so what do you think of Kiddy's inspiration when it comes to or drawing inspiration when it comes to music? Can you drop your comments in the comment section below? Yeah, so next time I'm gossip, I have Boogie Banton features Stoneboy on his new rhythm. Yeah, so Stoneboy, is this has been a very brilliant year or let me say a very successful year for stoneboy i made the coronavirus pandemic we all know that a lot of artists and musicians have actually laid back and uh, things are quite slow in the entertainment industry but that is not actually deterring stoneboy from achieving success he went on to drop his angonga junction album which has received massive airplay and also massive recognition across the globe like i mean this album is one of the best albums to have ever come from ghana i mean <laughs> you can debate that so you can even let's start a debate in the comment section compare various or series of albums that have been dropped by various artists in ghana let's compare it to the angola junction album in terms of music streams and what have you let's drop the let's let's make the debates happen in the comment section yeah, so let me move on so after enjoying lots of feats with the angola junction album the likes of he featuring Kerry Ho, the album appeared in the billboard hot um um, um World albums um, charts, and I mean that that is quite that is a very huge success for Stoneboy. And I mean that it's not it has not really ended there. There's a much loss of stream on Apple Music, Audio Mac, and what have you. And latest to be added or latest news coming from the camp of Stoneboy is he being recognized by Jamaican recorded artist Buju Banton. And I mean Stoneboy is the only let me say Ghanaian artist or let me say African reggae and um, dancehall artist to be featured on Buju Banton's um, rhythm, and he's titled the rhythm. Um, um, survivor rhythm and Stoneboy is actually featured in there and he's, he's he actually featured Stoneboy on the song Crossroad guys I mean I can't wait to listen to this particular um, EP or this particular love rhythm or the survivor rhythm which is set to actually make waves or even set to take um the whole world by storm when it comes to and we all know the jamaican when it comes to that reggae i mean the reggae is that deep and the reggae really the reggae song actually makes waves in the um, um, um global charts i mean whatever chart that you can put in the feature in there buju banton has made i mean when it comes to the names when it comes to songs buju banton is in there so stone boy getting our recognition is a plus for him and also for the Ghanaian um, uh, music industry charlie big up stone boy can you drop your comments in the comment section below and let's and let's get interactive in there yeah so last but not least on my gossip for today is when the shay as i said earlier on when the shay is actually celebrating her second anniversary in the ghanaian showbiz industry as we all know when she has really really made a lot or actually made a lot of achievement or had a lot of achievement with these two years she's one of the fastest um, to have made those achievements i mean win the likes of the vodafone ghana music awards lots of awards like i mean topping charts battling the male artists like it's not easy like, we all know most of the female artists have been relaxed or they've been relaxed lately and it's quite uh, difficult for female artists to actually make it or let's say penetrate when it comes to music because in the Ghana showbiz industry or the Ghana music industry it is actually no dominant you get it it's dominated by the male artists but then for a female like when you say to actually battle it out with the men head to head in terms of the the charts I mean, topping number one, two, three, amongst like it's, it's not easy. I mean, for her to also drop an uh, an album and what have you like, it's not that easy for an artist. And for me, for all, I like to say that big up when you say for um, achieving this particular feature within um, or this particular feat within this particular um, within these two years. Yeah. So when she has come under intense, like she's one artist or uh, let me say one female artist who, when it comes to like um, emotional trauma 
um, like throws, like stands, like she's been there, like so everything some okay when you say is there and uh, on the media tour she was at, at, at why um, or who crowned her um, as um, a queen of female arts because we all know we have very 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 good female artists like that of Be with the likes of becca the likes of ifia adina and the rest i mean miss v those people have never been crowned queen of gh but then she has been crowned and who gave her that crown but according to when she's saying that it's her fans who gave her that crown she didn't force it on herself and if your fans are calling a particular name all you have to do is to just take it because we have um, artists like Shatawale, people giving a uh, king of dance or artists, dance or king, whatever. You. And I mean, he had to take it upon himself because nobody gave him that crown. So then, if his fans, sorry, if her fans are actually giving her that name, she, sh she has to take it upon herself. And also, talking of how she handled trolls in the Ghanaian showbiz industry, she's saying that it takes a lot and she's um, emotionally disciplined. Yes, yeah, sometimes it gets to an order, but then she tries, or she has a very good team behind her who tries to, I mean, advise her and, and talk to her that she didn't let all these things, I mean, get to her because she should, actually, she should find a way of distinguishing, distinguishing herself from her showbiz life because she has a private life and whatever happens on showbiz or on social media should not really get to her. She should find a way of distinguishing the two. And also, she's saying that how she managed through is that if you realize that your trolling is actually going to get get really get to her or tarnish her brand, what she does is that she blocks people. And she said that other female acts will also take a cue because it seems in Ghana, female acts are when it comes to trolling, they are number one on the list. Like recently, as we all know, Becca has actually been trolled or has been trolled on, on Twitter for making that kind of um, post talking about people and um, Ghanaians being hypocrites and what have you. So when it comes to trolling on social media, females are, or female artists or female personalities are victims. And so I think they should actually learn from when you say, when you say two years she's been trolled a lot. I mean, people photoshopping her picture and what have you. Guys, kindly drop your comments on this particular issue of when you say and also what you think um, 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 or let me see when you say suggestion on how um, female artists or people can actually manage trolls on social media and also not that she also talked about um, Ghanaian or stakeholders in the music, music industry or in the media industry also trying to shed more light on the female artists as I always say the female artists are at disadvantage when it comes to showbiz so it's high time they also they also actually try to push themselves okay so that um, they get that kind of recognition and also it's high time also stakeholders like bloggers and presenters and manager like what have you people who, who play the role or who play or who are in the ecosystem and they play a role to help push artists and um, globally to also try and share some kind of light in a female artist in ghana so guys let's drop your comments on all the issues that or all the gossip that we've actually uh, I've actually brought to you into this episode in the comment section let's get interactive in there and as I always say if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel because this channel brings you the latest entertainment news from ghana and beyond and also don't forget to also follow the official social media handles of our accounts yes so at udate jhtv follow on facebook instagram twitter everywhere and also don't forget to also follow me personally at udate and that's called jh on all social media platforms don't forget to also log on to our blog our blog comes i mean our blog has the latest entertainment news in Ghana. So just kindly log on to our blog www.odatejsnews.com for the latest news. And don't forget to also click on the bell icon down there so that when we drop a new story, we'll be the first to be notified. I can't wait to say the latest entertainment news and gossip is bye for now.